Asante uh, sana Bishop uh, Martin ambaye anaongoza hafla hii kwa viongozi wetu wote kiongozwa na baba wetu your excellency the right honorable dr raila molodinga your excellency honorable kalonzo musyoka mama county wetu asiaya dr aida our governor na viongozi wote ambao wamekuja kukaa pamoja nasi watumishi wa Mungu waliokuja kwa ajili ya kutuliza wapendwa mafamilia waliopoteza watu wao na wajeruhi nataka niwasalimie nyote katika jina la Bwana Hamjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe majina yangu ni Reverend Canon Dr. Joel Atong nafanya ujuma na kanisa la Kianglikana upande wa ugonja ninapokuwa mchungaji nataka kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hafla hii mbaya amefanya ili tuwe pamoja chini ya himaya ya Sea County Church Leaders Forum ambaye pia uh, mimi ni mmoja wa viongozi wao Bwana asifiwe nataka nisome maandiko na neno naenda kupata katika Maika mlango wa ine The book of Micah chapter 4 and I'll read verses 1 and 2 then I'll read verses 5 to 8 It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and it shall be lifted up above the hills and peoples shall flow to it and many nations shall come and say come let us go to the mountain of the lord for the house of god of jacob that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths verse 5 for all the peoples walk each in the name of its god but we will walk in the name of the lord our god forever and ever in that day declares the lord i will assemble the lame and gather those who have been driven away and those i have afflicted and the lame i will make the remnant and those who are cast off a strong nation and the lord will reign over them in the mountain of zion from this time forth and forevermore praise the lord i want to speak to us shortly on god's promise of restoration prophet micah was a prophet in israel and he preached during the reigns of king jotham ahaz and hezekiah around the years of 8th to 7th century bc he was the contemporary of isaiah the mighty prophet and hosea during their time they preached at a time when social injustice and oppression of the weak was the order of the day in Israel and Judah the gap between the rich and the poor was widening by the day the governments that made policies that did not care about the welfare of the people the rich land owners loaded it over the poor and there was great suffering it is behind this kind of a background that god raised up his servants micah isaiah and hosea and i want to praise god that every time in the history of humankind god has always raised up men and women to stand up for the cause of justice of his people 
and as it were in the days of the Bible, and we are living in the days of the Bible, we are not short of memories of times when this nation has gone through real times of tyranny, oppression, uh, uh, injustice, and all manner of human injustices. But I want to praise God that God has always raised up men and women to stand up for the cause of justice and to stand up to fight for the rights of the people. I want to praise God that this day as we gather here, my brethren and dear leaders on the dais, we are living at such times as that, that indeed there is a lot of social injustice that have been meted against the people. And that it is, we are here today to condole with families of people, young men and women who have lost their lives, who have lost their property, who have lost their uh, members, not for anything, but simply for young men who are standing up to say that they are hungry. And people don't seem to care. It is in that kind of a background that we are gathered here this, uh, this afternoon to condole with these families and to pray for them. And I want to indeed uh, thank the Right Honorable and the leadership for really seeing this as important just to come and also pray with these families. It is our prayer that at the end of this day, there shall be hope and peace for these people. And so as Prophet Micah rebuked the self-centeredness of the nations and the leadership of his time, as he rebuked their greed, as he rebuked their injustices, as he rebuked even the false prophets that were there and would still pamper the, 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 uh, the, the injustices and the unjust system. And so it is our prayer that this morning the Lord will comfort and encourage our families. And I want to say, children of God, that as uh, Micah speaks these words, he also remembers that indeed, even though they have suffered injustice, even though they have, they have suffered loss, yet there is a God in heaven who cares for the poor, who cares for the weak, who cares for those who are vulnerable to fight for their cause. And so I'm here to encourage somebody in this podium today that even though we are mourning the untimely death of these young innocent men, and these families that are going through this loss. It is not lost in the eyes of God. That God is there for you. Praise the Lord. He is a God who cares for the weak. He is a God who cares for the oppressed. He is a God who comes down to restore hope for the people. No wonder Micah, Micah says that yes it shall come to pass on that day. That in the name of the Lord... God is going to assemble um, and gather those who have been uh, lost. That God is going to assemble those devastated families. I want you to go put your hope in God. That God is going to assemble and restore hope even to you and to these families. And I want to encourage somebody tonight, today that even as Pro Prophet uh, Micah proclaimed justice uh, judgment, he also proclaims hope and promises peace for all of us. And so this afternoon, I want you to be encouraging the Lord that our God is not asleep. He's a God who is cares. In verses number 6 to 10 to 9, where he declares that God will restore the remnants uh, to be a great nation. That God will restore the remnants to be a great nation. Those who are oppressed, those who suffer, those who have lost, the Lord will restore what God the devil has taken away from you. That God will restore them back to their land. 
but God will restore and assemble the lame and bring them back to strength. Yes, as I stood, as I sat here, I saw young men walking in, you know, uh, broken limbs. I want to pray that the Lord will strengthen you, will restore your broken limbs. And I want to say that even as we gather here, children of God, that our God is not lost of all the injustice, the systems in our society today. You know, after the amalgamation of the 2010 constitution, we almost went to bed thinking that we were now reached there. But it so happens that we are back to where we were 30, 40 years down the line. We need men and women to gallantly stand up for the rights of the people, for the rights of the, of the vulnerable. We need men and women to stand up and speak, you know, to the injustice, uh, to the governments, that even though you know you have the power, but the power is not forever. Hallelujah. But I want to say, and I want to declare in this meeting, that our God is a God that provides justice to all men at all times. He will uh, stand to recompense. He will stand to recompense for you and to restore uh, your hope. That I want to say, that you know, through history has taught us that in the history of humankind, there have been times that movements have come up and that people have stood up to rise up for their, for their rights. And the regimes, whoever have tried to oppress and to suppress the people, even by killing and maiming, yet it never worked. It never worked. My own history of the church tells me that in a time when the church was in infancy, and growing up, men and women who stood to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. They were suppressed. They were killed. They were destroyed. But my history book tells me that out of all that, me, the ministry went on. The gospel was preached. And the Lord, the word of God was prayed. And the man of old said, the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. And I want to be encouraged. That even the blood of these young men that have been uh, spilled over this land uh, shall not go in vain. Uh, the restoration of justice shall surely come to pass. Because our God is a living God. But our God is a mighty God. You can kill the messenger, but you cannot kill the message. Hallelujah. Amen. You can destroy, you know, uh, the, the people, but you cannot destroy the will and the spirit of the people and so cheer up men and women of god that the lord is fighting for you the lord is on your side the lord is gonna stand up and restore you because the god who stands up for justice for his people he never goes asleep our leaders cheer up as you stand up for the justice of this land you know the lord must raise up a man for to stand for the of the people of god may the lord inspire you the lord encourage you my dear families may the lord comfort you he is a gracious lord he has not left you hallelujah he is a merciful father he is gonna stand for you and provide justice for you not to ombe asante baba wetu weni mungu na kando yako hakuna mwingine tuna kuheshimu tuna kuabudu maana we ni mungu unaijali mahitaji ya watu wako na siku ya leo tunaposimama hapa baba utrehemu rehemu nchi yetu rehemu watu wako rehemu familia wa watu hao rehemu watumishi wako kwa jina la mungu baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu amen Makofi kwa neno la Mungu. Asante sana Canon Joel. Mungu akubariki na bariki wale ambao wamesikiza. Kwa sasa nataka tuombe kitu kidogo. Adwa kwa yo Martin. Nijo dolo duto mo biro. Wadwa no alamne familia. Jomo weto jogi gi jomo henyere. Wadwa no alamne gi jodolo mo biro dwa no mo alamne gi ka. Tai wachi utuwe lo njote ndwa kuru lo skodwa. Akia nini tie kakake nyalo sudo mbele mwendo lamne ge. Tonitie jomohi nyire mo kinyali biro. Bwida ngano lamne ge kuma gintie. Ok. Wate moka ma. 
wawacho ni jodolo biro biro mondo lam ne family kuma gintie wadhi adhi ya hotel ne ge pasta ezekiel mama alice gi jodolo duto father sylvester we want to pray for these families we have the bereaved we have the injured tafadhali jaduong matin 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 mondo walam tai wawe soda soda but wasudura soda kumagintie kla 